Dear students, now we are going to solve important problems in far field distance in wireless communication. The first problem, calculate the far field distance that is also known as Fraunhofer distance for an antenna with largest dimension 1.5 meter and the frequency 1200 MHz. Okay. So here in the solution part, first we have to write the given data. So dimension is given that is 1.5 meter and the frequency is 1200 megahertz. So here we are going to find out the far field distance that is df is equal to 2d squared by lambda. So here f is given from this we can calculate the value of this lambda. So lambda is equal to c by f. c is 3 into 10 to the power 8, f value is 1200 megahertz. So into 10 to the power 6. Then we can get the lambda value as 0.25 meter. So then we have to substitute this lambda value and the dimension value in this formula to get the far field distance. So that is equal to 2d squared by lambda that is equal to 2 into 1.5 the whole squared by 0.25. Then we can get the far field distance as 80 meter. So it is very simple problem. The next important problem is to compute the Rayleigh distance of a square antenna with 20 dB gain. So in this problem they have given us the gain of the antenna 20 dB. So we are going to find out the Rayleigh distance Rayleigh distance is nothing but the far field distance. So in the solution part, first we have to write the given data. So here the receiving antenna gain is 20 dB. So we have to convert this dB value into the normal value by using the formula 10 to the power 0.1 into the dB value. So here we can simply substitute this dB value that is 10 to the power 0.1 into 20. Its value is 100 in linear scale. So next we are going to find out the Rayleigh distance using the formula 2d squared by lambda. Here d is nothing but the largest dimension of the antenna. Correct? For a squared shape antenna, the effective area of the antenna is equal to the d squared value. So first we are going to find out this effective area by using this gain. So here the formula is a e is equal to lambda squared by 4 pi into the receiving antenna gain. So next we have to substitute this gain value here. So lambda squared by 4 pi into 100 is equal to 7.96 lambda squared. Okay, so we do not know the value of this lambda because f value is not given in this formula. So we can take this value as such. Then we can approximate this value as 8 lambda squared. So this effective area is equal to the d squared value. So next we are going to find out the Rayleigh distance using the formula df is equal to 2d squared by lambda. So here we can simply substitute this d squared value as 8 lambda squared. Then we can get the answer as 16 lambda. So this is the Rayleigh distance of the given square antenna with a gain 20 dB. Do you all understand this one? So this problem is in... in